So, hello. Um, this is a bit of a treat. I'm very proud to announce my math library, which I just created. Um, it's pretty bare, bare bones at the moment, but um, it's just going to... At the moment, it's just got the most useful functions that I use a lot. So instead of using GLM, we can use this one. Um, I'll just pop into it. I've written it in C because C is nice and I wanted something I could use later on for other projects. Um, if we pop into the header, we have got these uh, VEC3s, VEC4s, MAT4s, and they are defined um, with float arrays, but also with um, SIMD128 registers, um, vectors. And uh, yeah, so we've got, yeah. This library it's got a bunch of things we can pop in for instance and say let's say we want to get the dot product well I actually found it's quicker just to do that in place same with the cross product but for instance if we want to add vectors together we can simply add them in a single instruction and if we want to make um, matrices we just set them this way. Um, so yeah, it's using SIMD, so it should be accelerated, and um, as we can see, it works. Does the same stuff as GLM. It's not going to go any faster or slower, but um, should be good for doing lots and lots of transformations. And also, if we go down to the usage, we can see that um, sending the data to the shader is pretty easy. We just um, access the underlying array and that sends it through just fine we don't need to do like type pointers or anything and this is the big thing this is the big thing the matrix multiplication order actually makes sense so in GLM we would translate the cube first and then rotate it you know that makes zero sense right you spin it around its angle and then you put on a translation and that anyway so long story short i've just made this i'll make it available you can grab it play around with it and i'll be adding to it but yeah it's uh it's maths it's fun it's good so yeah that's it have a good one see ya bye